Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April 8th of 2022 well, it is titled hale -Bopp, the Great Comet of 1997. So what do we see here? Well, this is a digitization of an original photograph from April the 1st of 1997, when Comet hale -Bopp was very prominent in the sky. So this is originally a 35 millimeter color slide that was taken of it and involved a 10 minute long exposure taken of the comet when it passed very close to perihelion. Perihelion is when an object passes closest to the sun. So that is when the tails are going to be the strongest and we can see the tails here stretching off towards the right hand side. We see the white colored dust tail kind of curving down towards the bottom uh, and towards the lower right. And then going almost straight back is the bluer ion tail going straight back. Now those two tails are composed of different things. The dust tail is composed of somewhat larger particles, still very tiny, but small particles of material that lag behind the comet in its orbit. The ion tail is individual atoms and ions, and those are lighter and pushed straight back by the pressure from the sun. The other particles in the dust tail are kind of lag behind as the comet moves. So they show, sort of show us the direction in which the comet is moving. So from these we can say that the sun is off towards the lower left and that the comet is moving toward the upper left and on this diagram. Now comets are also recurring. Many of them come back over and over again. Halley's Comet is one that is very well known for this. However, this one has a much longer period of thousands of years. So hale -Bopp, while it will return, will not return for several thousand years and should come approach the sun again in around the year 4380. So we study comets. Why? Because they are some of the little bits of material left over from the formation of the solar system. So we study them as the things that originally made up the planets, especially the planets and moons in the outer part of the solar system. And they're composed prim primarily of ice, icy materials. And that helps us to better understand what the outer part of our solar system was like when it was forming four and a half billion years ago. So that was our picture of the day for April 8th of 2022. It was titled hale -Bopp, the Great Comet of 1997. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.